Five sneaky things women do to manipulate and control men. This has maybe happened to you before, or maybe you've seen it happen to someone you know. Or maybe you've had sneaky suspicions that it's happening to you right now, and that's why you clicked on this video. So if you're wondering if women do things to manipulate men, the answer is yes. <laughs> and if you want to know what those things are, you are in the right place. Hello, gentlemen. My name is Apollonia Ponti. I'm your dating relationship and attraction coach, and I help men from all over the world not only master their attraction and dating lives, but also their relationship lives as well. And I've had hundreds and hundreds of results. You can click below on my testimonial testimonials right there in the description box to see. And if this is your first time visiting, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to this channel as it helps me grow this channel and helps me get in the right hand of men to give them significant results in their love lives. And that's the way that you can pay me back. Now, I'm going to give you the honest truth about women and manipulation from a woman myself. So I want to talk to you about seven things that women do to men to get their way. The reason I want to talk about this with you is so that you have a very clear picture of this dynamic in your relationship or dating life. Because if you're seeing these things, and especially if you're seeing these things very often, there is a chance that there is a toxic element in your relationship or the woman that you're dating, and you have to address it right away or walk away right away. So let's get started. The most common manipulation tactic I see is what I like to call emotional blackmail. Ooh, I was watching Love is Blind the other day and I saw emotional blackmail firsthand with these women. I'm like, gosh, women have mastered emotional blackmail. And it's literally not something I'm proud of, guys. But it's something I know very well from seeing it, being a coach, hearing about it, and being a woman myself. So I'm going to give you the understanding of what this is. This is basically when she wants you to agree with her about something. So she goes about trying to make that happen by making you feel bad about the way that you feel, the things that you want, or the way that you genuinely feel about someone or something. For example, let's say that your friends are inviting you on a guy's weekend trip and you're pretty excited about it. And your girlfriend or the girl that you're dating does not feel the same way. She's not very excited. She would prefer you to stay in town and spend the weekend with her. But instead of communicating that to you openly and honestly, she will start to tell you things like, I would never want to go to Vegas on vacation. Only sleazy people go there. Or you would spend money on a trip there. I didn't know that type of place is even interested to you. As you can see, she's basically putting you down and making you feel small or bad about the thing that you wanted to do so that you can change your mind and do what she wanted you to do. But she's not communicating her needs with you. She's just making you feel bad about yours. So I would advise you to be very careful with this type of behavior because it can become toxic very fast. Now, before I get into the next tip, I want to just take a second here to tell you that if you're seeing this happen, it doesn't mean this woman is a horrible woman, but if she does it all the time, then yeah. But here's the thing with emotional blackmail, you want to remember this is if you've seen this in your life or with a woman that you're dating, call it out for what it is. Listen, you're giving me these underhanded comments about me going to Vegas and you wouldn't want to go there. It's kind of demeaning a little bit. Give me the truth about what you're thinking about me going away this weekend. There's where a man can step into his masculine and be assertive in those moments. You're still coming from empathy. You're still coming from respect. You're not yelling, but you also can't walk away men from conflict in a relationship because conflict is what helps you grow and really get to know a woman's truth to see if she's worked through the things that she's experienced in her past life or if she's still acting from them. Number two is excessive compliments. All right. Next up, we have a situation in which she knows that you're more likely to do what she wants when she has stroked your ego. In some of these cases, I've even seen women leverage guilt along with compliments to get their way. For example, she'll tell you all the things that she loves about you, all the ways that you make her happy, and how no one has ever made her as happy as you do. And then she tells you that it would make her so happy if you would X, Y, Z or Z for her. If you say no, then suddenly you're not the guy that makes her happy anymore and you just feel so terrible. Oh, is this toxic? So you do the thing and voila, she has gotten her way once again. 
I should mention though, that sometimes people do this without realizing it, and it doesn't necessarily mean that they are toxic. That said, you should always keep an eye out for behaviors that are manipulative in any way so that you can have clear conversations and also make sure that your relationship remains healthy. You want to look for patterns if the woman is consistent with doing this. Sometimes people have bad habits that just need to be addressed, and then you can move past the issue and straighten your relationship because relationships bring out what the worth that we need within us. And we're not all perfect. We're not all healed when we get into healthy relationships. But what happens is we have a partner that holds us accountable and we hold one another accountable and we do the work to rise up in relationship. All right, next up, let's talk about tears because I see this a lot. Crying. Women will sometimes turn on the waterworks to trigger a man's protectiveness. Has it ever occurred to you that when you see that you've made your girl sad, you want to move mountains to make her happy again, right? Well, women will sometimes use this to their advantage. And this is where you wouldn't want that to happen to you. And this is especially effective if she knows you don't see her cry often. Sometimes the tears are real. Remember, we feel a lot. Women feel a lot. We know when the tears are real. But sometimes she might be sad, but she wouldn't be crying in any other situation. But with you, because she knows that if it's a soft spot, she'll cry. Or worse, pretend to cry. Until you feel so bad that you cave to and do what you initially said you wouldn't do. And just like that, you have been manipulated, right? Now, crying is different from making her, she's sad about something and she's crying because she's kind of trusting you with this information or she's coming to you for support or affection or wanting you to be there by her side. But when she's crying in a way where it's like, I'm not getting my way with him. So I'm going to kind of put up this pity party and I'm going to cry and I'm just going to do it. And it becomes a pattern. This is where you want to watch out. Number four is so big. I think in the woman community of manipulating men, that is sex. I have also seen many situations in which a woman is displeased with something that her man did or didn't do. So she becomes kind of cold. She could be quiet, dismissive, quiet, or distant. And often she denies him sex or any type of physical closeness. This can be called physical blackmail. Just watch any reality show and you can see this. And she will stay like this until the man decides to do what she originally wanted him to do. Once he does, she will warm him back up to him and be her normal self. The result is the man learns that if he does what she wants, he gets sex. As you can imagine, this is a slippery slope and yes, it can become toxic very quickly. Also, when it comes to sex and when it comes to toxic, it gets really bad. This is when a person might start using the withholding of physical intimacy as a form of punishment that teaches their partner to comply. It can create a feeling of anxiety in the partner that if they don't comply, they will be denied physical and emotional intimacy and be left out in the cold, so to speak. Okay. And so I want to talk about another part of this when it comes to sex. I think it's really important to understand that, um, oh, I've seen also women when they don't get their way, demean you and how you perform in the bedroom and kind of go after your manhood. Ooh, that is the biggest red flag. Even let's just say hypothetical worst situation. Let's just say that you're bad in the bedroom. Okay. If a woman really values who you are as a character, she's going to sit you down and talk about the things that she wants to improve and try out with you on or things that you can do better, or she's going to try to direct you there. That is emotional, mature woman. Okay, guys, no excuses for that one. Number five is proving your love. Last, but certainly not least, we have the form of manipulation that comes in the form of a very simple sentence. If you love me, you'll dot, dot, dot. While sometimes people say this is in a playful way, the message is the same. First of all, it means that they are asking you to essentially prove your love for them by doing what they want you to do. If you don't do it, then you are showing them that you do not love them. And of course, this is repetition. This happens often. And secondly, using this phrase can be emotionally manipulative by linking their partner's love with them to their compliance with their requests. They are essentially trying to guilt them into doing something. There's a difference between, I do this to my husband all the time. He's like, oh, of a fine, I'll do it. And I'm like, cause you love me like this. And that's, there's a difference between being playful and knowing the times, but it doesn't happen often. The signs that I'm talking about are things that are happening often for you. 
I've also seen an instance where clients tell me that he thinks it's romantic when his girl says that to him. And I have to remind him that it's actually a tactic that she's using to make him do what she wants, basically. And it's really easy to figure out if she's manipulating you with this sentence or not. Just ask yourself, would I do it if it was just up to me? And would I feel bad about not doing it if she hadn't mentioned anything to me about love? That's a good question to ask yourself if this happens to you. In other words, if she didn't say that you'd do it if you love her, would it even cross your mind? Hmm. I don't know. Listen, I see this all the time. And while it might seem cute to some people, it actually is something that you can have to pay, you have to pay close attention to. A relationship needs to be loving and balanced and both people need to feel supported, heard and understood. If you find yourself not being able to make mature, healthy relationships and build on transparency and communication, which is why it's so important and I want this information to be available to you on what to keep your eye out for. But if you see yourself doing this, this could be a problem with patterns, your dating struggles. I've seen men married and divorced and going back out in the dating field and just getting into toxic relationships. And I've seen it all guys. And if you want that support to really transition, I would encourage you to click the link and book a call so we can see if you're a good fit to work with me for my 12 week transformation program called my algorithm of attraction. We do everything when it comes to relationship and dating, coaching, flirting, mock dates. I set you up on real dates. I mean, emotional connection, understanding attraction, everything that you need to know in order for you to really get the results that you want in your dating life. So click the link below so you can book a call. It's completely free to see if you're a good fit. After all, that's what I'm here for. So to summarize the five common manipulation tactics used by women are emotional blackmail, excessive compliments, tears, withholding sex, and making you prove your love. All right, guys, the good news is that all of these things can be overcome by practicing healthy communication. So even if you recognize these things in your relationship, know that in most cases you can fix it. If you've liked this video, make sure you click that like button and watch this next video right over here. Behaviors that actually turn off women. This is the video that you must see and I'm going to link it right here in this end screen so you can see it as well as I want you to watch that next video. As always, I'll see you in the next one. And remember, you are always loved. Bye for now.